What's up, guys? Listen. So, listen, a little royalty. Remember a long time ago when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry sat down with the American news broadcaster, um, Oprah Winfrey, right? Of course, y'all remember that was the, um, the interview heard around the world. Well, remember how Meghan said something interesting about how they didn't want to give her children titles? And everybody was like, what are you talking about? You think you're so special? What sets yourself apart? Your child is not a direct lineage to the sitting monarch, but as soon as Charles takes over, your children will get titles. You silly, silly, silly American. Don't you understand they don't get titles till they're 18, right? And everybody was blasting her across, calling her a liar. But guess what? It seems like there was something to what Megan was saying. As a matter of fact, it seems like she was telling the truth. Do you know how we know that? Listen, Charles seems to put out feelers to tell everybody that that's exactly what he plans to do when he takes the throne. Y'all, what am I talking about? This is deep. Grab a cup of coffee, popcorn, whatever the time it is. Grab some eggs, bacon. Who knows? Just come over here and let's get into this because this is juicy. And it's actually really, really messed up. I don't know what it is. Every day, I used, you know, being American, I never thought much of the royal family. When Meghan married into it, I was like, oh, that's cool. Look at that. Finally being modern. All right. And I started getting interested in them. But then when they cast her out and I saw all the things going on behind the scenes, I it's like a car trash, car trash. Yes. Trash. Freudian slip. It's like a car full of trash heading off a cliff. I can't look away as they destroy themselves all because they wanted to crush and quiet one woman. But you know what? Enough of that. We'll make another video about that. Let's get into this. This story was reported in multiple outlets, right? I'm talking, I'm going to quote from the Express UK. However, it was in a bunch of papers, right? But this one is pretty concise. I'm going to tell you what it says, why I think that, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about the royal decree and why this is so important, right? So the Express UK has an article said, Prince Charles may issue a new royal decree. I'm going to explain what it is in a second to limit prince and princess titles when king right okay they're saying that princess charles first decision as king has long been subject to speculation i know because everybody was like is he ever going to be queen i literally think <laughs> that, that that queen elizabeth is just holding on hoping 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 for i don't know that charles meets his maker sooner than not so william can take over and turn the uk into tory land right but anyway everybody's wondering what's going to be his first thing what's going going to be his first thing i would hope his first thing would be to handle his business and make camilla queen because you did destroy the whole monarchy um literally send diana to tears and bring all this shame that is still rippling through with like harry leaving to another country if you don't know what i'm talking about watch my old videos all for the love of camilla i hope that you handle your business and make her queen like you promised her instead of being petty but it seems like if these royal experts are to be believed, no, he's going to have his first act is going to be petty and punish Harry and Meghan. Now they're saying Prince Charles is likely to issue new letters of patent when he was king. This is what royal experts are saying. Um, now, if you don't know, the patent letters are what the monarch could use to actually grant office, you know, right title, you know, all that fancy British stuff. Um, or it can grant status. Harry and Meghan are talking about the status of their children having prince or princess titles. Now, now how's he going to limit these patent letters? Listen, now they go on and say, this is just a prediction, but there will be new letters of patent. But I think it'll further limit the title of prince and princess and the royal highness to children of the sovereign and the children of the heir or the heiress apparent you say tisa what are you talking about this is just a royal expert you can't take it wrong because if there's anything that's been proven by jason knopf william megan's lawsuit she has ripped the cloak off between a cozy relationship with the news outlets and the monarchy and usually when you see things as Oh, a source or whenever a royal expert speaks to, they have been given the okay by either Kensington Parents, Clarence House, or the Cambridges, right? Okay, 
fair enough. The royals are too dignified to actually give a clear, concise uh, answer. They like to send their sources out like little fingers, the little whispers, right? The little whispers hadn't saying it, and it wasn't just this. Also, you have to know Prince Charles style. I actually did a deep dive on him, and his communication house, Clarence House, has a certain style. They put fillers out to see how the public reacts. If the public reacts negatively, they say, oh, no, 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 no. No, what are you talking about? This is just speculation. We don't know what's going to happen. And then they turn around and do the exact same thing that they put their feelers out. This started as early when Charles wanted to get private security guards. I think it was in The Guardian. This is in May 21st, 2002. Yes, I did a deep dive. When Charles wanted to get private security guards for Camilla and everybody was still mad about how he treated Diana. And they said he has no plans to marry Camilla. But you know, he's just going to have her start doing engagements. And doing things as a working royal, but he's not going to marry her. Everyone, don't be worried. Don't be afraid. And then now look at this. This is literally his wife. He's going to try to make her queen. Want me to make a history, a, a, a video about how the royals always do this? I will. But for one, just take my word. This is the way they get their sources out. This is the way. This is the way they get their sources out uh, out there to give their narrative. So he already put it out there that he plans on streamlining the Martin McKee. Does this not vindicate Ma Megan? Does this not prove, and it's not just the Express, it's a bunch of UK newspapers, Google it if you want, literally. But does this not prove exactly what Megan was saying, exactly what she was worried about, and exactly the reason they left Saltine Island, which is what I call the UK, I'm sorry, Salty Island, for you slip, which is I call the UK. Now, why is the letter of patent so important? Well, let's get into it. Okay. The George Defense Convention, it's literally just a letter of patent that says that the children of any sovereign of these realms and the children of the sons of any such sovereign and the eldest living son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales shall have at all times hold and enjoy the style, title, or attribute of royal highness with their titular dignity of prince or princess prefixed to their respective Christian names or with their other titles of honor. As you can see, clearly Megan was right. Clearly they told her in the future, if you have children, they will not have titles. Now, why would you ask? Well, I've mentioned it before, but if you know the history of the royal family, whenever something comes into their bloodline that they don't like, whether it's someone that is mentally handicapped, someone that's mentally disabled, someone that doesn't look right, somebody that doesn't act right. Oddly enough, Andrew is still invited. We'll do another video about that. Or in this case, someone that is an American divorcee who happens to be black American. It's interesting that the children they produce, the only non-known non-white children in the British royal family bloodline, they are not effectively trying to even change a decree, a patent that has been around since 1917 to keep them from entering into the history books as a part of the royal family. You guys can say what you want. Say what you want. You can say that Megan's greedy. She's selfish. She's this. She's that. She's a Attention seeking. She's this, she's that. But one thing she hasn't been is wrong. Everything she said that they were trying to do to her and Harry, they actually did. And the things we couldn't prove back then, we're finding more and more information because the palace just can't help themselves. We're finding more and more information about how just right she was. You guys, the royal family and everybody that's called her a liar and naysayers literally needs to apologize to that woman and to Harry. And they need to stop this nonsense and make sure that those two kids um, actually get patents. They're literally playing, they keep saying that Harry's ruining the monarchy. Harry's not doing anything. They're ruining their own monarchy by pulling the lid off of the way that 80% of their Commonwealth, uh, Commonwealth citizens will never be accepted, are not wanted, and will never be a part of the of the ruling family they want to keep it back to in my opinion to their colonial times and this is all my opinion i want to hear yours in the comments but honestly i don't see any other explanation but if you do let me know and for those of you in the comments it's going to be like you don't know what you're talking about american listen you need brit if you don't know this to learn your own history and you also need to do a google search and see what's actually going on and i'm not going to wait until lily and archie are old enough for you guys to say oh well 
Fine, it was right, but it really doesn't matter because they haven't been in the royal fold and Harry hasn't been working. It is their birthright. And if you guys are willing to take away somebody's birthright through their blood, then what does that say about your monarchy? If these titles and these privilege can be taken away because the public doesn't like it, I agree. But what does it say about the people you have in power? That means that there's nothing special about them. There's nothing above them either. We are all the same. It's basically your version of a modern popularity or a modern celebrity. And all celebrities should be afforded the same treatment. All right, my guys, listen, let me know what you think. I will talk to you guys later. I am working on something for um, uh, uh, the Ro- William trimming rose bushes, if you know what I mean. In the meantime, let me know anything else you want to cover. I'm really into these royal stories. I'm getting into it. Go on, say hi in the comments, and let me know what else you'd like me to cover, because you know I like doing deep dives.